de luces. Nowadays we live in a world of technology and every day we use very modern gadgets like computers, mobile, PDA, GPS, etc. and of course a lot of them with internet. Everyone has internet at home at work, etc. But have you asked yourself sometimes how can that be possible? Well, we are going to try to answer this question. For this, we must go 50 years to the past, in the beginning of the decade of the 70s. It appeared ARPANET, the first internet network. And with this network came the concept of router. With this device, people can connect and through the internet. But those routers were too big and slow for house. But with the passing of the days, technology has been grown up. And now we can see a square or rectangular routers smaller than a book. Now we are going to describe some components of the model router. A router has two important parts, phone connection and wifi connection. At the back of the router we can see the principal port. A mini antenna for wireless connection. The phone connection where we put the ADCL cable and the connection to the computer. A high-tech router can have a lot of computer connections. Why? Simple. Imagine that we have two computers at home in the same room. We must have two routers or Wi-Fi system? No! Only one router with two or more computer connections. Lastly, at the front of the router we can see a group of lights that indicate the correct operation of the router. That is, if Wi-Fi light is on means that Wi-Fi is working and the same with the other light. We hope this little explanation helps you understand better the router, that unknown object.